Well, we've reported on this. Mix-ups at Valley Jails leading to the release of the wrong inmates. Well, now there's a new system in place to prevent those mistakes from happening again. As ABC 15's Eric English shows us, it's a high-tech way of tracking inmates. Okay, I need your right index finger. I'm going to put it on there. The green light will turn green. Name, date of birth. Um, it takes uh, aliases if you have them. The sheriff's office is stepping up their booking system to keep tabs on inmates and make sure the wrong person isn't released. After Rocky Marquez pretended to be another inmate to escape from jail last year, the sheriff's office decided to make changes. So now they're scanning something not even identical twins can share. Now the fingerprints are different. Everybody's fingerprint is different. Nobody's matches. And that's one of the reasons we went th with the system. It's a biometric fingerprint scanner that keeps the seven jails linked. Every person arrested must scan their finger to be booked and then again to be released. It's a, a fingerprint, electronic fingerprint, and it uh, searches a database, a huge database that we're currently building and, and comes up pretty quickly with who the person is. When someone is set to be released, officers scan the inmate's finger, double check paperwork, and out they go. It helps us, helps our detention staff. Uh, make sure we got who we, who we need, and it helps the public make sure we keep them safe. Deputies tell us this high-tech scanner should help fill the cracks in the old system. If this is a jail. We need to make sure we're releasing the proper people. In Phoenix, Eric English, ABC 15 News. Right now, the fingerprint scanners are only linked to the jail system, but there are plans to tie into national fingerprint databases.